my channel, guys. So as I promised, we are going to make the Minnie Mouse basket tonight. I was so exhausted last night. I tried to make it last night. I was like, no, it's just not gonna happen. So let me show you everything that I have for the Minnie Mouse basket, which is for a baby girl. So she's, I think she's under one. So I had to get, you know, first and foremost, stuff that is safe for the baby. So, all right. So of course, even though this is Minnie Mouse themed, it's still an Easter basket. So she still needs an Easter bunny, okay? And this one um, matches perfectly with the Minnie Mouse theme. So I got the, the um, Easter bunny. I have, this just matches, you know, she can't eat the chocolate. I mean, I don't know if she's closer to one or if she's already one, I don't know. I don't know if her mom lets her eat chocolate. I don't know, but this matches. I'm pretty sure her big sister is gonna end up taking this anyway but it, it, it'll look pretty in the basket so I got that bubbles got the bubbles purple lollipops to match the theme and I don't I should have asked the exact age but these are from newborn to one years old and these are like cute little bow headbands so since it was a Minnie Mouse theme, of course you have to have some bows. I tried to find like one big bow, like one little headband with a big old bow, but this is better because the, 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 the colors still match the color pattern. And I actually found some Minnie Mouse themed little hair ties. Can you guys see? So I was happy to find those. I have some Minnie Mouse like little tote bags and it's two in a pack and it has Minnie and Daisy on the back. It's like reusable bags that they have like in the grocery store. Um, of course I have the Easter eggs. I have like this, it's a lollipop, but it's like, it's like a ring pop. And, but when you put it in your mouth, it looks like you're a bunny rabbit because it has the bunny, the bunny thing on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I have a mini figure. I have Minnie's cat. What's the cat's name? Figaro? I don't know. Let's see. Let me see what the cat's name, the dog's name is. Snow Puff. I should know that. So we have Minnie, Snow Puff, and Figaro. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And then I have, I don't know, I have a random unicorn, which may not make the basket today. I have individual, well, I I bought a pack and it came with like six of these, but I have an individual cotton candy. And I was really trying my best to find like more Minnie Mouse themed baby stuff. I couldn't even find a Minnie Mouse, like a stuffed Minnie Mouse. I, I just couldn't, I haven't found one. Um, so yeah, did I show you guys? And then I also have it's messing up the color pattern, but they're carrots. So I have, I still have to put the carrots in the Easter baskets and make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. So, oh, let me show you guys the, con the paper confetti that I'm using today. I already have the basket stuffed with the paper and then with the two sheets of the tissue paper, because one sheet is too thin. And then with one sheet, you can see through it. So you can see either the newspaper or the paper or the, um, the paper. Mm -mm. So we need a solid color. So use two sheets. This is a mix. I think I'm going to get close so you guys can really see it. I'll, I'll show you guys a close up of everything after, um, the video. Let me show you guys. You guys see that? My lighting is terrible. Don't worry. I'll have a ring light soon. You guys can't see it really. Yes, you can. So that's really pretty. And this is what I'm gonna stuff. This is what I'm gonna stuff the basket with today. So as I stated in my last videos, make sure you guys have enough newspaper or enough paper um, in the basket so that your items can, you know, stand and not sink in the, uh, down in the bucket. I have some green in here. I need to pull that out. That's messing my color pattern up. 
I'm really big on my color patterns. I like all my baskets to match. Okay, little more. This may be too much actually. Okay, so I like a little bit of the paper confetti hanging out. However, I don't like too much of it hanging out. I still like my baskets to look neat. I'm picking out all these little random colors in this paper. I have a green, I have a brown. All right. And then just spread it, make sure there's no uneven spots. Just spread it, fluff it up like that. So I always start with the bigger items in the back. And I'll just slide this right here, slide this down. I need this to stand up here. So I may put a dab of glue right here so this can stand because I like the mini. I like how that's just, I'll do it now. I got my glue gun here. I wanted to also make the Barbie themed basket, but I want all purple uh, paper confetti with that one. I can, I mean, I don't know. I may use the multicolored paper confetti, I'm not sure. All right, is this even? All right, that's, that's, that's perfect. All right, so, and I always put the bigger item right in the middle, you know, in the back of the basket in the middle, and then put the next biggest things on the side right here so that everything, you know, will be um, <clears throat> visible and the biggest in the back. And then as you go down, you get, you know, down to the smaller stuff so that everything is visible. So these are so freaking cute. I think I'm going to put the bunny on this side and the bowls on this side. So what I'm gonna do so that the bowls can stand and not fall or sink in the basket, put a small, small dab of glue in the back of the hair bow and just a little bit of glue because you don't want the items, you don't want the kids um, having a hard time trying to, you know, open the basket and pull away the item. So just a little bit of glue so they won't have a hard time trying to pull this stuff apart, right? That's cute there. I do have this mini actually may I'm gonna have the figures down here let's see this will look cute right here but see this is gonna cover up the mini and the daisy so I'm not gonna put that there I may just put this ugh, what is that I may just put this like inside of the bunny's lap so I need the bunny to stand up a little bit more so I'm gonna put a little more paper confetti right here so that the bunny can sit up a little higher with the hair bows. Hold the hair bows, bunny. Is this blocking the bunny? Yeah, bam, just like that. Hold the hair bows, bunny. Okay, so mm, 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 mm. I still have these three figures and I think I may put these, well, no, because that's gonna block. Well, I, I would need to put mini, mini in the middle and then put the cat and the dog. I wish I had Daisy. If I would have saw a Daisy figure as well, I would have brought, I would have bought Daisy and put her in the basket. Let me turn this around and make sure it looks right. Cause I am, I'm really big on presentation. I don't like baskets that, you know, well, I sell my baskets, so I can't just throw baskets together. I, I, I just refuse to just throw stuff in a basket. Mm. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these figures because they're taking up more space than I thought. Like way more space. Hold on guys, be patient. Be patient, hold on. Oh, 
Okay, so I have them down there. So what I'm going to do is also put a little more paper confetti in the front. Stuff it down, as I stated. I like the baskets to look a little rugged, but not messy. Put a little more paper confetti around here. And that's the thing. So, you know, it depends on the size of bucket. It depends on what you, the items you have. So what I do, I always end up buying too many items for a basket. And I end up having like a few items left over that didn't make the basket. Okay. And I'm also going to put the lollipops up here. So with that being said, it's very important to realize the size of the bucket while you're out shopping for these things. Because let's just say for instance, you're doing a Mickey Mouse basket and everything Mickey Mouse that you see, you're thinking about the basket, but you're not thinking about all of the other eight Mickey Mouse items that you have at home for the basket. And you just went back to the store and bought more and then when you get home, you realize all of the Mickey Mouse stuff can't even fit in the basket. All right, so where am I going to put this other egg? Let's see. Can the bunny hold both of the eggs? No. I'll just put the other egg over here. And then... <clears throat> let's see. This is pretty tall. So... Okay, and still have two more eggs. I need to stuff this one. Nothing's even in here. Oh, that's so pretty. Come on, cat. See, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes the items slide down and I need to, I'll just put some more paper in it and make it stand up higher or whatever. Let's make it stand up a little higher with the paper. But depending on the size of the bucket, I usually know like how many items I need to have for the bucket. But sometimes I slip up and I buy too many items for one theme and then I'll have so many left over. Okay. I kind of want this to sit up a little bit more. So I'll also put a little bit more paper confetti back here so it can stand up. Hold the egg bunny. Hold the egg there you go. Okay. And what else do I have? I have the bubbles, which I'm pretty sure her big sister is going to take. Um, I'll put the bubbles. I forgot this hot glue gun is right here. Put the bubbles over here with that. Mm -mm. Put the carrots. I have another Easter egg I'll just put right there. Oh gosh, that is so pretty. And then, mm -mm. see this is what I'm saying. I really want to put this cotton candy in there, but it's going to block a mini Mouse. It's going to block a mini Mouse. So I'll just put the, the little lollipop, ring pop thingy right there. And I can put some more paper confetti behind that because I like everything visible and I like everything propped up. I don't like anything sunken down. Nothing. Put a li little bit more right there. Okay. So we have the, the hair bows, the mini bags, the mini themed hair bows, the bunny, we have the Minnie Mouse little figures, the dog and the cat, Glow Pops, Easter eggs. We have the carrot chocolates. We have the bubbles and the other chocolate candies. And I mean, I may go into my stash and find something else that may fit in here, but I'll also try to stuff this in there some type of way. But anyway, I'll show you guys a close up after the video, a really good close up and better lighting. 
Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, especially if you make similar videos, cooking videos, how-to videos, any type of learning videos. Let me know if you subscribe and I'll subscribe back. Bye. All right, here is a close-up of the Minnie Mouse basket for the baby girl. You see how pretty the paper is, guys? At first, it was bad lighting, so now you can really see the color pattern. There's the bunny holding the egg and the hair bows. Yeah, I need to also um, find a way to add that cotton candy. I'll find a way, but basically, here we are. Let me show you guys the LOL themed um, Easter basket. So this one here was for the little sister. And this one over here is for the big sister. And I put her name on it. Her name is Shaylee. And I'll also put the other baby girl's name on hers on the mini, on the mini bucket. But this is the LOL theme. Got the crayons, the peeps. That's like lip balm though. Got the lollipops, the eggs, the Sour Patch Kids. Got the LOL Magnetic Game or something. Got the LOL Surprise Ball. Gotta have the Chocolate Easter Bunny LOL Coloring Book. Then we have the Girl Boss Crayon or Pencil. Little, what do you call those things? God, my mind just went blank. But you know, you guys know what I'm saying. All right, like and subscribe. Look, here's another mini over here. And here's the nursery letters. It's a woodland theme. You guys go on my website, blissfulbundlesgiftshop.com. Follow me on Instagram. Like and subscribe. Do something. Bye.